Hi folks, Andrew here at Top Fitness Strategies. Hey, we've got another video coming your way. And today we're going to talk about the uh, way to get toned muscles. Whoa, watch it there. I got the microphone here. Toned muscles, you know, your, your, your biceps, however you want to look at them, um, things of that sort. How to get more toned, more defined. Right away, people think, and this is a myth buster I'm going to throw at you right away. So, man, you're getting your money's worth. And this is a free one right here I'm th throwing at you. The myth but. <laughs> <clears throat> Excuse me, a myth buster. The uh, 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 a lot of people think the way to get toned muscles is to constantly work out that particular muscle. You work it out, you work it out, or you work it out, and it's going to start growing. You get bigger, and there you go. Now, there's a difference between big muscles and toned muscles. Now, and, and we will discuss that in, in another another uh, video. Right now, I'm, I'm going to discuss how to get toned muscles. And if you want to do the visualize, visualization, visualization, think about the, the bicep muscles and, and, or, or the shoulder muscles, things of that sort. Okay. Now, yes, you do have to do some work on the muscles. You do have to do uh, something to engage that particular muscle. And, and, and in this example, now also we're talking about the biceps. Could be talking about the legs, the glutes, the back what have you, but I just want to make a specific muscle so we're, or we're all on the same page so there's no confusion. So let's say you want to get specific or you want to tone up your bicep muscles. Yeah, um, one thing you have to do is make sure you have a muscle there. First of all, that's number one thing. And two is get rid of the fat around the muscle. Andrew, yeah, I know. That's what I'm doing. You know, That's why I'm doing all these curls every day. You know, I, I do 5,000 curls and I up my weight and I do another 4,000 and so on and so forth. That's great, fantastic. Yeah, you're going to get muscles that way, but that's not the way I'm talking about to get toned. By toned, I mean see the real definition of the muscle, see what it looks like. So when you wear the sleeveless um, uh, shirts. Now, this is for uh, guys and girls, all right? So this is a tip for guys and girls. Don't just think because I'm a guy talking, this is all it is for guys. It's for guys and girls. <coughs> I don't know why I got this frog in my throat. Um, oh, and uh, uh, this is a very rare appearance that I'm actually, this, and you can't tell, but this is nighttime, and I'm in my recording studio. I don't, I don't come in here at night very, very much. Usually I do everything during the day, but uh, so this is, this, is, this is at night. And if you're still here, which obviously you are if you're hearing this, hit the subscribe button down below. And then also there's a link below. Go to topfitnessstrategies.com. Get on the the, the, the the mailing list, and you'll get all kinds of goodies coming your way. And we are in the process of updating the website. So if you're watching this video at the time of this recording, the website is getting updated. Okay, just to let you know. But the link is below. And once again, subscribe and go all, all that good stuff. Okay, going back to the tonage of the muscles. The main thing is to you need to shred the, uh, the the fat all around there, and, and that's the most important thing. So just because you're working a particular muscle all the time does not mean that muscle is going to get toned because if you have a bunch of fat around that muscle, you can have the biggest muscle in the world, but it's still going to be covered with fat. Same with your belly. You can have the most toned abs in the world, but if there's uh, a fat around it, you're not going to see it. A running joke my buddies and I used to have when we was growing up, um, a lot of us were in shape, and some of us had abs, some of us did, and so on and so forth. And we all know that we've been there. If you've been working out with buddies before, you know how that works. But the running joke was, yeah, I have a, uh, uh, a washboard stomach, but it's covered up with dirty laundry right now. Boom. Yeah, okay, we got it. I wish I had a sound effects machine. That's what I need here. But uh, you just need to shred the fat that's around the muscle. Uh, and, and, and since you can't spot reduce fat so in other words you can't target one area to reduce your fat and this is a controversy uh, a controversial statement I know but I'm gonna say it here everybody's body uses fat in a different proportion so for instance uh, um, let's say I, I go on some sort of I hate to use this word some sort of a, a diet and all of a sudden my belly just shrinks down to nothing and you go on the same diet, but your belly's bigger, but your arms are, are, are shredded down. And in my example, my arms aren't, but my belly is, so on and so forth. Just because we eat the same, we do everything the same, doesn't mean our bodies are going to react the same to everything, especially when it comes to diet. So 
don't think you're going to spot reduce a particular thing. So the thing is, you got to reduce your your your. I don't want to say your caloric intake, but for lack of a better term, most people get that. The more calories you burn, the less calories you take in. Therefore, you're going to start using up body fat and things of that sort. So, yes, two things. You have to use the muscle. Going back to our, our, our thing about toning the muscles. And one, you have to use that muscle. You have to put some sort of force, some sort of resistance on that particular muscle you want to use. Two, do you see two? Yeah, two, two. I'm getting the camera. Two. So you had one, used up the muscle and, and, and um, used some sort of resistance on that muscle. Two, reduce the fat around that muscle. So you have to change your diet, change your eating habits, and uh, start doing it that way. You know they're saying that abs are made in the kitchen? I don't 100% agree with that. Now, yeah, the kitchen is, a, is pretty important, but if you're not using your abs to begin with, if you don't have any m muscular or muscle uh, formality, lack of a better term, in your abs, you can be as skinny as a runt, but you're not going to have any form there. So I say the uh, the, 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 the kitchen, is, uh, you, 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 what did I say before, the uh, abs are made in the kitchen? No, I say the kitchen is the window to the abs. And you can replace abs with biceps, back, glutes, what have you. So worry about your diet and put resistance on your muscles. You do those things, um, and I guarantee you, eventually you're going to start seeing the muscle that you want to see. Just is that, that simple, folks. Now, can we get into depth with both of those? Of course we can, but I'm giving you the broad strokes guidelines of how to do it. Okay, you got it? All right, so if you're still here, which obviously you are, or you wouldn't be hearing me right now, subscribe, and then click the link. And subscribe to the video channel, the YouTube channel. Then click the link below. Go to the website. Because, so, man, we got a lot of stuff happening over there, and I want you to be a part of it. And if you're watching this, you know what I'm talking about. Okay? That's it for now. Andrew, Top Fitness Strategies. Thanks for being here. Until next time, this is me. See ya. Ciao.